first one, the first one rather, was a was a big time success. It was a monumental movie, and, and now you're working on part two, the follow up to this, and it's you know anticipated to be a huge success once every once it does get in theaters. What when it, it actually comes out. When it actually let's comes out. That, you know, let's hope that Wonder Woman 3 doesn't get made before we get, we get to I come know. out with Wonder Woman 2. <laughs> That's true. That's true, given, given the circumstances. But what was it like being a part of this movie as, as one of the Amazons in this uh, particular picture? i tell you, it was um, a little surreal, to be honest. Um, I, you know, personally going through, you know, a lot of changes in my own life, um, I needed uh, to be reminded of who I was. And I mean, being around like Jake Johnson, you know, a silver medalist for England um, in the track world. And, you know, there's Mo Sassigvon, who's a heptathlete, who's about to, you know, she was supposed to be coming out in the Olympics, but then that got postponed. But like these women um, are all so incredible. I mean, um, to be around the all of these, basically Patty Jenkins, went around the world and handpicked her Wonder Woman, you know? Um, and if you ever, if you talk to her, if you ever get a chance to watch any of our interviews, you know, she'll let you know that it wasn't, you know, it wasn't just a physical thing she's looking for. It wasn't just for you to be a great actor. It was for you to be like this person. This, you had to have this energy about you. You had to have a certain type of um, uh, aura around you that would work with everybody else. And so to be able to look at myself and say, wow, I'm one of these women and I'm here, you know, was a, was a place for me to really recognize myself. And that felt incredible. Um, it felt incredible because every day was a challenge and to, to get through and, and really look at yourself and, and recognize your own successes is a big deal, you know? So I feel, I feel like, you know, I've, I've gone on one, I've taken a big, one of my big stepping stones in life. And now I've been given, and that I could continue on to be able to show other women as well that they can do the same for themselves. Right. All right. So let's let's back up way, way back in the in the time machine, because when you were younger, you did uh, ballet, you did tap and you also did some uh, some karate training when you were uh, young. In fact, uh, yes. you did your sparring with someone who was six foot nine. You're five foot ten and you were well, you right now you are. But even back <laughs> then, you were sparring with someone who was six nine. How did that come about? How did that yes. all work out for you? So um, my father at the time, so I'm from Bath, England, um, was the um, karate instructor at Bath University. And um, so funny, I just met another actor the other day who actually said that she went to Bath University. And I was like, I have never met anybody anywhere, <laughs> anywhere I've gone. And they'd be like, oh, yeah, I actually am from Bath or they've been to the University of Bath. I was like, you, you know where that's from? And so um, I had to go because I was a kid, you know, instead of staying at home, I had to go to karate twice a week and I had to go get my black belt. I didn't quite make it to the black belt because I got to like 13 years old and was like, I'm good now. I'm two, two belts away from black. I don't, I don't really need it. I'm, I can take care of myself. But my dad would never take uh, any chances. Uh, he would never give me any grace in, in being 11, 12, 13 years old. It was just like, you're here, you get in the class with everybody else who's in their 20s and, and you work hard, you know, um, kind of like Karate Kid, you know, and so just so happens that my sparring partner was six foot nine. <laughs> wow. I mean, I'll say he was a gentle giant. He wasn't somebody who was trying to like, you know, use his size on me or anything, but definitely made me have to step up to the plate, you know, and, and really like take care of myself. Because of course, if a hand's coming at me, I gotta make sure I'm, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a big yeah. hand. Right, uh, just six foot nine. Okay, at the age, you were fighting somebody or sparring with somebody who was six foot nine at the age of 12. That's interesting. Okay, all right. Uh, you also did some uh, some ballet and some tap. How did that that play into your whole, uh, you know, becoming an Amazon, if you will, or the rest of your life? Oh, it, um, well, um, my older sister is was my very first inspiration in life. Um, she actually went to Italia Conti Performing Arts College in London. And, um, and uh, I decided, you know, I wanted to do this, you know, follow in her path. And so I, my eye was on the Brit School, which is Richard Branson's Performing Arts School in London. Um, and so, you know, that's what I ended up doing. I went to college there um, in Croydon. Uh, London in England for a year and um, before I came over to the States but um, 
but ballet and tap and modern and jazz and all of that, that was my life. Like my, my week, other than having to go to karate on Tuesdays and Thursdays was about <laughs> go into the dance place and just live in my life in front of those mirrors and learning every type of choreography, which is part of what it was that Patty was looking for in her Amazons, you know, to have the, the grace, um, uh, that goes along with, you know, being a, a tough warrior at the same time, you know, so it, it, it worked out.